Hey guys, welcome back. We're building derby cars. I mentioned it previously in videos a while back. We've been kind of busy, had some family issues going on, so I haven't made no videos lately. I'm going to show you some of the projects we got going on for the derby cars. We have one that's really special. It's going to be a tribute to my dad who's actually fighting throat cancer. Just got done with his radiation, so that's a good thing. But we got a lot of work to do on them. We've got four of them here at this property, five at another property. And we have to have them done by August 21st for the Washington County Fair in Greenwich, New York. We also got one I'm thinking about taking to Edison, Vermont. I've done a lot of work on them. I haven't really got no footage of stripping the cars apart because I'm using a cell phone. I don't have anything else right now. But um, I'm going to show you some of the cars, show you what we got going on. So I'm going to switch camera around so you guys can see it. We do have quite the mess laying around. I'll, I'll give you a better footage of that here in a few minutes. I'm going to explain to you what we're going to do with the cars, what our game plan is, and uh, how how I tend to like to strip the cars down so I can run them. We have the first car I'm going to show you is a 93 Cadillac uh, sedan, uh, sedan DeVille. Has 70,000 original miles. Car's pretty well whooped, but we're going to run it anyways. We have a 2006 Ford Explorer that's actually been in a rock and put on its side. Still runs, drives. It is what it is. We have the 08 Honda Elantra. That was a fun car to build. And we have a 2007 Camry. That one was also a fun one to try to figure out. But I'm going to show you with those cars, and uh, we'll see if we can't get some footage of the other five at the other property. We have a 97 Grand Marquis over there, a 99 Grand Marquis, a Chrysler Town & Country van, Honda Odyssey van, and we have a Chevy, I think it's a 2500 truck we're doing for all for Washington County Fair Monday night, August 22nd, and Sunday night, August 28th. We're hoping to, hope, like I said, hopefully take the 07 Honda uh, Toyota to Edison, Vermont. So I'll have to see what I do with that one. I may keep it, may not. So we'll just switch this around and we'll get to going on the, showing you what the cars look like. This is the 93 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. We plan on completely gutting this car out. As you can tell, we've got the original rims there. We put 2000 Jeep rims on it, 15 inch tires. We've got a lot of interior out of it. We've got the roof, which is sitting in the ship box forward. Back window's already out. We have most of the trunk area all tore out of this. Back bumper's pretty well stripped right out, minus the lights. Some wiring. This little doohickey. We plan on taking all these wires out. We gotta take the springs right here out. They can't be in there. They don't like them. Got to clean out the glass out of the back window. Got to take the antenna out of it, which is a real pain in the ass. Taking these lights right here off. They're not going to be on there no more. We're just leaving the solid bumper right here all the way across. That's going to be there. That's how we've got all the siding off, which is pretty much in a pile right here. And again, over there. Inside, we are taking... The headliner out we're probably ripping these back seats out right here we're gonna pull all the front interior out we're gonna rip all this old carpeting up to get all this old stuff out get this stuff and kind of see how bad it's rotted out underneath here less stink in the car also all the door panels are coming out all the glass is coming out we've got to tear all the this stuff off it we're tearing uh the dashboard I might leave the dashboard just because it's kind of neat. I don't usually run them, but I might. But like I say, all this is coming out. The airbag's coming out. The windshield's got to come out. All this stuff's got to come out. We've got pretty easy up front in here because we got to take the reservoir out. Hood shocks don't work. That's why there's a rim sitting there. All the wiring's already moved, so I didn't got to worry about that. I'm not going to even attempt to mess with that. This car does need a fuel tank. Because the guy put a hole in it accidentally. This stuff's got to be moved. The canister is probably going to be moved. The air filter box is going to be moved. The vacuum stuff's going to be moved. And the wiring's going to be moved. Other than that, I'm pretty much just going to tear the headlights out. 
The front grill is coming out of this car, which is getting saved. Uh, let's get back that off this trailer. We got the front bumper pretty well stripped out. We got to take these little hooks off, them pieces off. Obviously the wiring, put a hole in the hood, take the hood latch off. And then this car is pretty well done. Nice, like I said, the exhaust system and the fuel pump. This car does have air ride suspension. But thankfully it's got shocks and coils in the back. I don't like the air ride suspension, but for a $300 derby car, who cares? But if you look underneath, we'll show you the gas tank. It sits, where is it? Oh, it's on the other side. But right there, it's a nice little hole in the gas tank. And it's all caved in, where somebody decided they wanted to steal the gas out of it. So, if they're that desperate for gas, they can keep it. Over here, we got the other cars I was telling you about. The 06 Ford Explorer right here is not done. That's a nightmare. We're working on that one. We have got quite a bit done. As you can tell, the front's all gone. We've started stripping stuff out, out of the underneath the motor compartment. We've got to move all this lovely wiring that Ford decides to put across here. We've got to move the fuse box. Clutch fans coming out, shrouds coming out. Uh, we're taking the AC compressor out, moving all this wiring. We've got to take the washer fluid jug out, and then we've got to move the transmission radiator. This bumper is staying on, that is a stock bumper. Inner fender walls are coming off. You get to take all this joyous garbage off here. I hate these things. This this is the one that was put on its side. As you can tell, this winter. Had a patch of ice. Tops of derby. Oh, well. We've had a little bit of fun with it. We've taken... Uh, things honky shit. It's pretty fucked up inside, as you can tell. But we do have the headliner out. We have to take the sunroof out of it still. We have got to take all this excess stuff out, get all the glass out, pull all these side pieces out, which unfortunately down here, open up this door. It's another stupid Ford design. This piece is actually hooked on down here with a seatbelt. So we get to tear all the seats out just to get this out. Then we gotta tear all this stuff out. We've gotta finish cutting the windows out. We've got the back windows pretty well already out. That was pretty easy. That was two bolts that took that out. Back bumper, I hate, I don't like the design. Part of the tarp, cover up the cars. That's your back bumper with the hitch. Hitches are, the hitches right here are not allowed. So I have to figure out if I cut from here over, or do I cut just the hitch part and leave this little bit of metal here for a bumper? So you gotta move all the wiring, which hooks up right here and then back into the car. Driver's side on this is actually pretty good. The Caddy had 70,000. This has 120,000 original miles. We bought this car two years ago with 100 and 7,000 miles on it. My dad was driving it. And now. It's going to the Derby. We ended up just picking this one up for him. For 550 bucks. Then we have the. 08 Hyundai. Which is all stripped apart. Chained up ready to go. Uh, I'm back. My phone dies. Sorry about that. This car is all set. We did move a bunch of stuff underneath the hood. As you can tell, we come right here to the hole. There's the brain, fuse box, wires, all zip tied up. Cables all run inside. Steering wheel set up. Oh, battery in this car still. Didn't realize that. That's pretty good though. We have all this stuff it's cleared out. Trunks hollowed out. Hole inside the car is gone. This is the 08 Hyundai Elantra. 
fun little car to build. Plastic back bumpers, Maltese cars. This is the 2007 Toyota Camry. Same thing, we have everything pretty well gutted out of it. It's not chained down yet though. Got a little vacuuming out to do, but other than that, all I have to do is vacuum this out, chain this up, put the seats in it, painter, we're ready to go. The caddy's had a little more work done to it since my phone died. This one's a lot funner in the front too. We'll go back to the caddy in a second. This one actually has no radiator in it whatsoever. We have transmission lines looped and a radiator line looped around. So there's all the wiring, zip tied. A few pieces that I don't give two cares about. They're there. Hack with it. Steering wheel's in it. Dashboard's gone. Headliner's gone. This is the car I first started on. This is the second one. This one's done. The other three are not done yet. It's your battery box. It's how there's holes through the car. So there will not be no water building up. Got a few we got a little more work to do to it. Like I said, this one's got it out pretty good. Everything's disappeared out of it that we don't need. And then we got the caddy to have some more work done to it. This one, so if, so we got some more work to do to it too. We got glass, running boards, drive shaft. But the caddy has now has nothing on the back. Tail lights are gone. Whole back half of the car, minus the exhaust system and fuel tank is gone and done. Oh, well, them too. Got the back side pulled out. We have the headliners out. Back seat's gonna stay. We got some of the doors start well, one of the doors right here. Started to be tearing apart. We got all the chrome off this side, all the fancy headliner craps out. Airbags almost out. Radio's gone. We're starting to tear this part of the dashboard up. And then we actually have well inner fender wall started to be popped out. We had the front of the car is completely stripped out as of right now so that's pretty much all we have for right now i will be posting more videos that way you guys can see more of what's going on with the cars until then have a good one bye